All right, welcome back to Triple R Random Rick Reviews. Today we are going to review and check out the Xena board game. So, <clears throat> two to four players, ages eight and up. Got looks like season one Xena on there. All right, check it out. Okay, the Xena board game. Box is a little bit up. All right, so four character control sheets, 14 map pieces, 15, 50 playing cards, one rule book, two dice, 56 tokens. So this can be combined with the Hercules board game, and I think there was a Star Trek board game. So it's kind of is a drawback actually. We'll get into that in a second. All right. Oh, here. Oh, Hercules and stuff. So here are your tiles that you would punch out to make the map. This whole map it's pretty big it's pretty good size there's some tokens you know Callisto Xena Draco uh, Ephony Joxer Tribune you got a harpy war skeleton so you got the villains the hero tokens um, I think it's like attack defense or something else maybe life So one, two, three, four, five sheets of these hexagons that you'll put together. Um, yeah, I guess because you flip them over, do different things. The component game system, fancy rulebook. Uh, if I remember correctly, the instructions could have been cleaner. This was 1998. Wow. Well, as a collector, this came with some cool stuff like this. Actually, I have two of these, and this looks like the one I have not opened. So I'm going to go grab the other one and leave this intact. Get your life size standy. So I have this one. It's going to be a lot of extra stuff. Here we go. So that. Yeah, I'll be careful. Okay, here are the game cards. We have Xena. So, four defense, four command, two diplomacy, zero magic. Kind of not true, but uh, three missile, three melee. Boxer and Callisto. So these are nice size cards. So this is a carry card you just have it in front of you. So you know the numbers and they start with different things. Uh, so Callisto starts the game with four dinars. And two cluster cards. Xena starts with five dinars and one Xena card. So it has an ad for the card game that I went over in a previous video. Here 
you know, the cards. So I'm gonna leave this for a second and get to grab the other one. All right, so here's the unbox stuff. Let me pull out your tiles, make your map out of them. Kind of a, a drawback of this game is all these little shits. I mean, it's look tiny, the cardboard, they're everywhere. It does come with two dice. So you have a custom Xena dice, it's one to three and a Xena logo. And then negative one. It also has a Xena logo, which I'm sure does something. So, so I only played the game once. Um, we can go through the cards, I guess. So you'll travel around the map doing different things, fighting different um, creatures, like you get the injured war skeleton. Let's see who is not injured here. Flip them over. So the stats don't change, but it's like he has two hit points. Uh, that's the other thing, moving this thing around is kind of a kind of a pain because of how it works. Like so it's all gridded. Okay, I'll put this guy like right here. As you can see, if you bump the table or anything, it's a pain. But anyway, let's go through some cards. Here's so, so, cards. Shock them. Lightning reflexes. And you have some basic cards here. Ambush, sword, restoration, staff, shield, throwing dagger, it looks like some enemy cards, bandits, treasure, harpy. So, lost screenshots from the show. They're not terrible, so they look, they look okay. It looks like you have an ability, climbing. Character, so like a supporting character, will travel with you. And ability swimming. And these are all the other events. And by every turn, you get a card, and I think a card might flip to trigger different things around the map. Uh, I, I wish this game was better. Uh, I'd rather just like just follow suit of a roller move game than have all these extra components that are just kind of more in the way than anything. So here's your little Xena tokens. So. I don't know, I didn't pay very, well, I think I paid a little bit of money for these because they're collectible. Well, to me, I guess. Probably the best part of the whole game is these character cards. They're well sized and four of the top people from the show. Could have used more, of course. But they're in there as the supporting characters. So there is the Xena board game. I don't know if I have a picture of the map. I might have a picture so you can see how the map would look. Yeah, you're gonna put it together. <laughs> There's a turn sequence chart. Got card phase, move phase, combat phase. Creature phase, 
uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little more than it needs to be. And, you know, when you end up, you're just rolling dice. But, if you're a fan of the show, and well, they have a pretty cool collectible, it's not bad. So, unfortunately, the boxes so far that i found have been slightly, slightly bent. The cover art's pretty good. <laughs> Except for this glaring white uh, two to four player thing. So other than that, it's fine. Alright, being a Warrior Princess, the board game.